Here at the Institute for Global Engagement, a simple premise shapes all we do. If religion is part of the problem, it can also be part of the solution. Wherever religious liberty takes root, faith communities make positive contributions to society, security, and statecraft. Fifteen years ago, visionary leaders Robert and Margaret Ann Seipel founded IGE as a think tank with legs dedicated to finding sustainable solutions to critical issues of religion and world affairs. Well before 9-11, the disciples saw firsthand the rising tide of repression, discrimination, and religion-related violence around the world. Responding to their sense of calling both as Christians and as global citizens, they established IGE as a nimble nonprofit that would not merely react to symptoms, but would instead discern and attack the root causes of global dissension. To mark IGE's first 15 years and build momentum going into our next 15, we will celebrate with our donors and partners throughout all of 2016. IGE will visit several key cities throughout the United States over the course of the year. If you are interested in attending or hosting an event, please let us know. Meanwhile, allow us to share some highlights from 2015. One of the greatest global challenges of our time is violent extremism. IGE has been sought out by national security officials in countries around the world to provide expertise on addressing this challenge. For example, in China, IGE was invited to take a leading role in a counterterrorism symposium. In Vietnam, IGE was asked to speak at the country's premier institutions for training government officials and diplomats. In addition, IG has sponsored innovative peacebuilding initiatives. In Laos, for example, IGE has facilitated the creation of a peacebuilding team, a rapid reaction force made up of both officials and religious leaders that can be deployed to de-escalate and resolve conflicts involving religious actors and the government. In Ukraine, IGE and its partners recently launched a path-breaking dispute resolution training program. Through its unique program called the Cradle Fund, IGE has mobilized large-scale assistance and strategic partnerships to respond to the vast crises afflicting Syria, Iraq, and the surrounding region. IGE has visited the region seven times, deepening relationships with local partners. Together, we have helped over 120,000 people through 13 key partnerships across five countries, implementing trauma healing programs and distributing life-saving food clothing, blankets, and heaters. We have also helped refurbish the homes of the 21 Christians martyred in Libya by ISIS. Together with our partners, IGE has spearheaded an unprecedented series of certificate training programs on religion and rule of law across Asia. These programs build not only knowledge, but also trust among government officials and religious communities. In September, IGE held its fourth such program in Vietnam, and earlier this month, we launched our first program of its kind in Myanmar. In some countries, governments view certain religions with wariness at best and outright hostility at worst. IGE programs helps governments understand the many ways faith communities can be a positive force in society. For example, this past year, IGE held two religion and citizenship dialogues in Vietnam. IGE also sponsored a major international conference on these themes in Singapore. Through IGE's Center for Women, Faith, and Leadership, IGE is helping build the next generation of women of faith leaders, inspiring and equipping them in conflict resolution, peace building, and national security. We launched our first CWFL fellowship program this year with a cohort of 10 extraordinary women leaders from nine different countries and several faith backgrounds. IGE's pioneering role in the field is also evident in its scholarship and commentary. Our flagship journal, The Review of Faith and International Affairs, is the first and still only journal of its kind. Highlights from 2015 include special issues on religion and international law, religion and child marriage, and the role of religion in Myanmar. IGE's expertise and perspectives are also shared widely through our timely books, policy papers, public lectures and symposia, conference calls, and op-eds in highly influential outlets. 
IGE's work has never been more vital. Indeed, the world is experiencing the worst persecution, harassment, and displacement of faith communities since World War II. Please consider making a donation to support IGE's mission. While opportunities abound, IGE's ongoing commitments to its people and programs will cost $4.2 million. We have $2.9 million in commitments and funds raised. Will you help us reach our year-end goal to raise an additional $1.3 million? Thank you.